Excuse me, yesterday I completed my art journal number six, and so here's a flip through. So yeah, there's some glare issue here, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, I, I finished the cover yesterday. I cannot figure out how to avoid making those creases when I'm using packing tape or, you know, on a page like that. But anyway, there's my cover. I just, I drew her on top of this. It, it looked like this and I drew her and then I I colored her with colored pencils and I also used for the eyes I also used a um, normal pen and my Sakura Jelly Roll yay <laughs> oh gosh I've missed using these and I I have them again and I'm so happy anyway so yeah <laughs> from this to this <laughs> I just put a lot of layers in, so I think it's kind of interesting what it does, what how it looks. I started it on uh, this one on May 29th of 2014, and uh, like I said, I finished it yesterday, so April 24th of 2015. I am liking having an envelope either at the back or at the front of my journals and so I've I've been doing that in the last few and so as you can see this one's no exception now I have okay, I wanted to wanted to hide that information in case I lose it somehow and it's found yeah actually I don't know why I wanted to show you this is it's not really Important. I guess I just wanted to show that this does that in case I ever want to come and do some more journaling or something in there. But this is made with cardstock and it is inspired by a floor tile. <laughs> and I'm not sure if she's a bride or just, I don't know. I'm not sure what it is exactly. It's just. I just like it <laughs> and so there you go now inside here I have some notes and some like some things like that that I used and you'll see well these these you won't see until towards the end of the journal but anyway I these are some designs that I was making and, and things I was doing that I thought I might use in the journal but I ended up not using, or I did use, but I wanted to keep that. And I didn't really know where else to keep it. And like reference photos and tag questions and stuff that I did and etc. So yeah, just that's just that kind of stuff in there. Okay, so now this, I, I taped it at the bottom here so that it wouldn't keep sliding out and falling apart falling all over the place but I didn't want to just glue it right to the to the cover because it it's this way is easier to get into it when I want to sh to to look inside the envelope and I didn't want to cover this up now this was just, I was just putting leftover paint and stuff on here when I was working on other projects and the the same with this first page and it I'm ta th this page I'm talking about how the number number 333 kept showing up and it, it's still doing it but not as much as it was at this time for a few months and anyway, it was just weird, like, anytime I looked at the clock, it happened to be 3.33, and if I looked at, uh, how I was looking for house numbers, the first one I would see was would be 3.33, and I saw mailboxes, and it, it just kept showing up, and, and even, like, things people were saying had that, if it had numbers in it, and, and uh, lotto tickets had, had, numbers so that it like a three and then the 33 next to it and 
Anyway, it's just it was just crazy how often the number 333 would show up. And this this started off looking something like this only as you can see a little heavier handed with the paint and stuff and I saw this face in there so I brought that out and left it and did a bit of journaling and then left it I this entire journal has a lot of excuse me pages in it that I don't like but it does have a few that I really, really like, so <laughs> I guess it kind of balances it out. But anyway, um, I I still wanted to share because, well, just because. Um, <laughs> I mean, you don't have to love everything you do. I, I Even the pages that I don't like, I, I learned something or I still had fun doing it even though I don't like the results and stuff like that. And... It still journals what was going on while I was creating it and stuff. So there you go. Now um, I could come back and, you know, bring out some of the things I'm seeing, like a floating city and a, an adorable little critter here with a big butt <laughs> and ear or antenna and a big nose and anyway. Yeah, this critter's kind of adorable. Anyway. Now, this is really ugly. And it's unusual for me. Like, for this. Yeah, I was just experimenting with something. I had, I had a piece of paper that I had written some notes on. And I didn't need the notes anymore. So I just crumpled it up and then flattened it out again. And then ran some stays on ink over it and then I uh, created this collage that you see here and then I I had this on this girl on a piece of scrap paper and yeah I, anyway this to me this is really ugly but I'm you know I, I I'm not gonna get rid of it I'm you know I'm just gonna keep it because there you go anyway and then I was experimenting with uh, layers and napkins and stuff but I got this far and then I didn't know what else you know where to go from here so I just kind of left it and so that's why it says okay now what <laughs> um, and those letters look like they want to come up so I might need to glue them down better or something but anyway I mean I, I kind of like it so why not leave it just like that it's got stamps and napkins and uh, flowers that I got from Michael's and stuff. Uh, this is just journaling so I won't bother putting, you know, turning this up. But Well actually I will because it's kind of neat the way I did it. So I started writing here and then uh, I even have to look to, to figure out how, where I went next. Like I, I started here and then here and then I went. Anyway, so yeah, it's kind of neat how I spiraled it. And that's kind of neat how this, this image transferred on here. <laughs> you probably can't see. Yeah, you, you can't really see, but yeah, on in person you can. Anyway, this was a joke. Uh, my family and I had pictures of a bunch of us wearing different color wigs and, uh, and they were wearing curly hair wigs um, of different colors and they were using their favorite, they were wearing their favorite color and there wasn't one of my favorite color and then we said something about you know that that they should make a wig in my, my favorite color combo or something and so then i so red red black and silver are my favorite color combo so i'm <laughs> i drew myself wearing a wig in my favorite colors wow that was a long-winded way to explain that <laughs> i am not a good storyteller at all this was a printout from Thiers 
Smith. I'm not sure how to s s uh, pronounce your name, so I'm sorry about that. I'll have a link to her YouTube channel. Um, so anyway, it was a free printable and I printed it and colored it. This face. I ha See, I had done this face while doing a tutorial here on YouTube and I thought she came out looking kind of strange and so but this this side had been left blank and so I I at the time I put this instead of wax paper but then I came back later and put this on top and then I I put this piece of wax paper because I wanted to draw her so I drew her and so anyway yeah it's I just felt like drawing faces and this seemed like the great the perfect spot in the journal to put it because because this spot had been left blank but anyway there you go I had gone for a walk and there was an adorable dog and I asked the owner if I could take a picture and the owner obliged and anyway he was so tiny and he was just so adorable and he was the owner was giving him a a treat so that he'd stay still for me to d to get the picture and so that's why it says and he was a tiny b bundle of adorableness because he sure was he was just so adorable anyway um, that same walk i went to the the riverside or the brook or whatever that thing is that body of water is and i saw lots and lots and lots and lots of fish jumping and i tried for hours and hours to get good footage i um, film for a YouTube video and I, I eventually did get some footage that I did make a video about but yeah it was good as I wanted to get on the camera but anyway um, so anyway yeah that's that's what this journal is all about the those represent the fish that I was seeing like yeah they were tiny little brown I don't know what kind of fish they were but they were small and really active and this says fish ripples. So I had done this and then, oh, I, I hate it when I do that. I really, really loved this page, but then I went and I ruined it with this when I was working on this one, but I'll, I'll come back to this in a minute. But when I did this, it ruined this side so then I printed it out but the printer wasn't cooperating very well so as you can see it's like really dark and stuff and Arrgh! but at least I do have the photo before it was ruined so uh, yeah um, so yeah this I just uh, sometimes just because is all the reason you need and that was just so that did, I did this page just because <laughs> just because I felt like it um, so yeah and oh and this one was inspired by an, an ad in a flyer a sales flyer and these two I, f I think I found a picture on Google images to 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 draw that from and then this is one of my favorite abstracts I've done in my you know I've ever done and I don't even remember exactly everything I did but there's a lot of layers of inks and paint and colored pencil and all kinds of stuff and what I would do is I would lay down some painters tape of different size no actually there's only the ones no different sizes 
Yeah, I, I would lay down pieces of tape, of the painter's tape, in different sizes and in different ways, and then I would go over with paint or ink or whatever, and then I would lift those up and then place them in different places again, and then stamp or whatever and then lift it up again and then repl and then place it again and just over and over and over again until I came to this and I actually really love it and it's weird that there's no journaling with it but anyway there you go and you can see that there's a stencil in the back well the stencil that's what happened here and it had dilutions inks on it and I didn't want to waste it all and so yeah so that's that's there and then and then as you as I said it, it ruined this side that I really love because I forgot that uh that you know that I shouldn't do that <laughs> because I know that dilutions will bleed grr Anyway, there you go. Um, this was a failed thing. I I had this idea. It was inspired by somebody. Who was it inspired by? Uh, France Papillon. She was doing something. And yeah, I wanted to do something like it. But to, to me, this is ugly and it's a fail. And so then later I came and I... I put this guy on and there's journaling under there a little bit and his tongue sticks out and anyway so <laughs> and this guy was inspired by something that Laurie Richardson Haley was doing and she ended up with a piece of paper that just anyway I yeah I, I saw this critter in this bird face in in some of her scrap papers that she was using and stuff um, I had a friend come visit me and we went for a walk and so this is just journaling about that walk and all the squirrels we saw and adorable little uh, she called them penny toads uh, to me, it's a pissnack. <laughs> just <laughs> anyway, just a, a really, really tiny, tiny frog. Uh, dragonflies, and we saw beautiful flowers, and just yeah, it was just a, a really cool walk full of uh, wildlife. And we also saw rabbits, and so so yeah, that that side is also about that day and that walk. And this is just. These two are just inspired by magazine and yeah, just wanted to do that. So these are, are quotes. This is journaling and these two are quotes. Okay, so this first quote says, Sometimes I sit alone under the stars and think of the galaxies inside my heart and truly wonder if anyone will ever want to make sense of all that I am. Testy McTesterson. And this one says, Words are like nets. We hope they'll cover what we mean, but we know they can't possibly hold that much joy or grief or wonder. And that is by Jody Picolt. Picolt. Not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, so yeah, I just thought that those two quotes somehow worked with these two images. And it looks like I forgot about bleeding on the other side of this one too, which is upsetting. But, oh well, I guess it didn't ruin it too badly. So I, I do actually like this spread. I kind of like this also. Birds of a feather flock together. Yeah, so so this this side 
decided this is a stamp of a Phoebe bird that I carved for myself and cut cut out and colored and put there and that's a those two are from a cutting die with my big shot and this is a, a stamp from Donna Downey and this is a stamp that I carved for myself from uh, that I used a photo that my sister made I mean took as reference to make that and so anyway it's all about birds because Dee Dee was good enough to send me uh, one of her silhouette I think it's a silhouette uh, whatever her cutting machine is and she uh, yeah she, she makes these beautiful feathers that I absolutely love on there and she sent me a few of them and so I did this one this spread about about that and um, this um, this is a real one whenever I go for a walk and I see feathers I pick them up and yeah so there you go and I got a new embossing folder for my big shot and so I was having some fun working with it this is this is journaling about feeling like I hit a brick wall sometimes and I like there are words like overwhelmed and um, evaporating days and stuff like that so it's stifled and yeah anyway and then I this one is pop dotted on there but she uh, yeah there's it makes it made her face look a little bit dirty but I still I really love the the folder the embossing folder Effie Wild was doing something and she she said I'm having a, a breakthrough not a breakdown and so I for some reason I just felt like doing something about that and so I did and so she hold on a sec I'll show you properly here just so she she's peeking through and so yeah there she is she's just saying hi <laughs> This was inspired by something I saw in a magazine. I think it was a Vogue magazine. I'm not sure. But anyway, I really liked what I saw and so I did it. <laughs> These are drawings, by the way, that I, I did on separate pieces of paper and then I cut them out and color them and stuff. This was a new, another new, two actually new embossing folders and so I wanted to, wanted to uh, experiment with them and journal a little bit. This was inspired by something I saw in the magazine. Yeah, I, I had been wanting to do this ever since I saw this magazine ad and she, in the ad she was holding something I don't remember what the bag was some kind of yeah I, I'm not into fashion or stuff like that so I don't know like a Louis Vuitton or something like that whatever it is bag or something and but anyway I, I made it into a <laughs> an art store art supply store bag so this I don't know if you can actually tell but it's she's cut out and then she's she there are two layers and so these these were cut from this page and anyway so yeah and 
This was inspired by Anna Brim. She did a tutorial on how she does clouds and I loved it and so I, I did this page like that and I left it just like that because I like it so much and here there's a there's a dog shape like that can you see uh, not really okay mm, right there there's a dog shape like that and I see all kinds of other critters in there too like cats and squirrels and etc so there's there's a, a cat head uh, looking up there's a that could be a, a bunny the, yeah I see all kinds of shapes in there um, all kinds of critters and those are just a couple of them <laughs> so it, yeah I absolutely love this thank you Anna <laughs> this is inspired by something uh, Kelly Donovan was doing Drawing a fairy for beginners, I think, is the name of her video, according to what I wrote here. And so, yeah, so that's this is inspired by that. This is inspired by something Dee Dee was doing. <laughs> Hers was a lot better, but yeah, I just. I just. I was doing this while she was streaming and you know kind of following along what she was doing but she had an image to look off of and I didn't have that same image and so I was just I was just doing what, basically what she was doing and then because of this um, it made a neat thing here from when I was working on the, the other side and so I left this page blank because this, I think that looks kind of neat, but you probably can't really see it very well on the video. But anyway, yeah. So this was inspired by something. Ruth Daly. Um, and so, yeah. This was inspired by this page, this part here, that right there. So that inspired this and this, and of course the clouds are back. And this is this is what I used. To, to make this cloud background and then this inspired this it's an alien landscape and stuff I was craving all kinds of junk food, like just ice cream, uh, pudding, potato chips, and corn chips, and Mr. Freeze, and carob bars because you can't have chocolate, and cookies, and fudge, and Werther's Original and the caramels and those lollipops and the half moon cakes and flakies and yeah just a lot of different bad cravings that I I didn't I didn't have I didn't satisfy those cravings but anyway 
this was I did this after doing a the Chopra Center had a special a meditation for peace and it was around the world and it was done live uh, via Ustream and I participated and then uh, yeah, I did this page and it's I am peace Shanti La Paix and so yeah okay that's just journaling it's a different and, uh, book text for these parts and then stickers and the leaves are a cutting die that I have just an abstract because uh, I just felt like it <laughs> and this this inspired something that I was going to do I was going to do something similar to this but using pieces of scrapbooking paper but that idea didn't work out it and I think I probably have the other pieces that I cut um, in that envelope at the, that I showed you at the beginning here this this envelope uh, but after cutting this one especially right here I saw this I guess he's a dragon this critter and so there he is so th this inspired this and it took me a long time so I drew it and then I kind of lost interest in it and, and then I came back just just this past week and finally finished it uh, colored it and stuff and there are a lot a lot a lot of layers of colored pencil on here and I also used the base is is uh, Caran d'Ache uh, Neo Color 2's and then a lot of uh, colored pencils on top and then some highlights with with my Sakura jelly roll I love my jelly roll have I ever told you that <laughs> anyway um and the this that spread with the aliens this one kind of happened the same way I drew the border and the the critters and then I kind of lost interest in it and then I didn't come back to it for a very long time and then finally I came back to it when I was Skype arting with my sister and did the like the, the background landscape and then just this past week I finished coloring the, the critters and the planets and or the moons or whatever the, those are <laughs> anyway so this one and this one I probably had a very different color scheme and a different uh, a whole different idea when I started it but then so much time w has went by between working on it that it is what it is that's 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 where that's what came out of it I don't know what the original thought was exactly but anyway this I don't remember why that is there especially since it's green uh, oh <laughs> so this is green but I like it it actually seems appropriate because of this here what I'm trying to do here and this was I had gotten a new punch anywhere punch and so I made this this uh, circle in the middle and then I wanted to decorate it and but my my uh, 
rub-ons were they weren't they weren't staying on there they weren't working very good and so then I came back in and put all kinds of different stuff and later you'll see I tried again and that result was a little bit better but anyway I like the idea I like the design this this if if I could get it if I could figure out the decoration around the circle and what to put in the cir in, you know in the background this this would make a nice card focal like the f front of a card for like mother's day or birthday or whatever but anyway yeah this one this one i decided was a failed thing but i left it in anyway and this is just journaling about this okay this was inspired by kelly donovan she was saying something about goth and i i like the look of well i mean black and silver are two of my favorite colors so i mean and then i saw this page in the magazine and she she had different colors but i just yeah it just this is my version of a goth girl i guess <laughs> And so, yeah, th this, there it is, the second attempt. I really, really, really love these flowers I made out of text, book text. And so what I did is I traced this. This is a flower that I got from Michael's dollar fifty bin. Um, and so I traced this and put them on book text and, and uh, used my Neo Color 2s and the ones that have white I used. This was probably my Uniball Signo pen because I'm pretty sure I had run out of my awesome je Secura Jelly Roll. Excuse me. Anyway, but that's that's all there is to them. It's just a little bit of watercolor crayons and a little bit of pen doodling and I just they're so pretty in my opinion and I originally had thought that I would use these in the background or or around here to decorate this but yeah it didn't it didn't work out and so this anyway this It's, it's an awful lot of green and it's kind of pale um, compared to what I I like like I like bright cheerful colorful stuff or like pastel-y I like colorful stuff is what I'm trying to say and this is just too muted a palette for for what I usually do but Anyway, I put some glossy accents to the look like to make it look like these are wet. You probably can't tell. Probably not. But anyway, there are some, you know, faux water drops and those are tiny little brads. I love those brads. And this is a cutting die that I have and love that it, it, it cuts and embosses at the same time. And so I did two layers and then this side is just covered with, with uh, washi tape just to make this side a little bit prettier. And this has the journaling. And this, it's not really, this is not really meant to be all that pretty. Like technically I could just glue these together but the journaling is here so so anyway so it's just some stamping that didn't work very good because I did it after I had been working in the the rest of the book and so it, it was too lumpy to to get a good impression so I just used my colored pencil to to kind of indicate what was missing 
but uh, this came from Dee Dee in a package of Happy Mail and I love that butterfly even though there's a lot of green in it just love it not sure if he's a butterfly or a moth but anyway whatever he is I love him and it just so this color his colors just seem to work really well with what I had going on here so anyway there you go long story this is all about all, all kinds of people who I care about who had lost loved ones and were going through some really difficult times and this is appropriate again today because that's happening again all kinds of people going through grief and and really hard times and yeah so these candles are for them so each candle is drawn and fussy cut and then this one and this one are pop dotted on there and so yeah <laughs> this was our 20th wedding anniversary and 21st anniversary of the day we met and so I'm just kind of scrapbooking or uh, smash booking more anyway I'm just this, this is just stuff we did to celebrate and that was instead of a mint candy or whatever that most restaurants give they, they this place gave a, a lollipop and so yeah there we and um, so these are pictures from from that day and yeah and in here there's a pocket and I journaled about the anniversary and stuff and this is inspired by something Tamara Laporte did I want to do more of this I really like this look got these really pretty labels um, from Franklin and I was at work with Franklin and we had ordered out and stuff and so yeah this is just kind of more of this kind of thing just random stuff now here I had made this tag and stuck it here and then I made the tag into kind of a pocket and then I stuck this piece of cereal box because I thought it was very pretty in there and I put a little bit of journaling on, on there and so I had done that and then I was stuck. I didn't know what else to do with this page. And then these are free Prima printables that I found. And I did this like this past week. I just glued these on and then I put those, I, I drew those trees because the, because this one has these that look like tree branches there coming out of it and so it, it inspired me to, to do that and then uh, so yeah so those are from there and so I just left it like this I did this while I was Skype arting with my sister and some friends and so yeah that's that's that and I guess I did this while Dee Dee was streaming. I don't remember really what this was about, but anyway. <laughs> and my sister, when she saw this via yeah, Skype, I mean, she, she said she doesn't have eyes yet. I said, no, they're closed. <laughs> so, yeah, her eyes are closed in, in case you think also that she doesn't have eyes. Yeah. <laughs> 
This was created by using a balloon that was almost out of air, like it was like shriveled up, and I wondered what what it would look like, and so I I stuck it in my stays on ink pad and just stamped it, and then I stamped the tied part of the balloon, and so this is what it it created, and. At the when I did it, I had plans to to like color it or do something over top of it, but then I decided I just wanted to leave it. But I see some critters like this looks like a an ant or something right there, and like these these guys look like critters to me. And maybe someday I'll do something inspired by by this. And, but then when I, when I saw this, I saw that uh, I tried to make a flower, and so that was the result of the flower. And so, yeah. Uh, what's on your easel? I did this for a video I did for Blade the Artistic Biker. I don't know if he's actually even seen the video yet, but anyway. This... I suppose I could stick more stuff on there. This is just... This is inspired by one of the Rectus Journal pages, actually. When I started doing this, I had a plan, but I don't remember what it was. And so I'm just going to leave it just like that. And it's, it's not very pretty, but anyway. I actually really love this page. I don't remember what inspired it, but it's kind of neat and weird and mysterious and stuff. Sometimes the simplest things are the prettiest or most intriguing sometimes. This, I believe, was inspired by something I had done with uh, Christy Sabaluski. I had done one of her free classes on her Ning site, or part of it anyway, and this was inspired by something I had done in there, but this didn't work out very good. I don't like this page at all. And this, those are all from my Zyron sticker maker, the the X one, the little one, and I I don't know why, but I just really like the way that looks. The and so I've stuck them on there. And and okay, I have a really cool cutting die that makes different uh, these different feathers and I do like this idea I'm gonna have to do it again though and I'm gonna have to use darker colored paper and I'm going to have to make a lot more layers in order to make this look good but I like this idea so I will try this again but I yeah I had run out of the papers and it's already taped down because I taped them instead of glue them down. I should have glued it. Uh, so anyway, yeah, this this was a this one was a fail, but I like the idea, so I'm probably going to try it again one day if I ever get to it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I really, 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 really love this page. This is book text pieces stuck down and it's got it's got paint and it's got watercolor crayons and it's got stamps and I just really love it. And this I was watching one of Laurie's videos and I saw this to the side or she might have even have used it or she wanted to use it in her project but she ended up not using it or something. Anyway, I saw something like a paper border that she had bought and I really loved it and so 
it, it inspired me to make my own. The, those bits are cut out with an X-Acto knife and this is uh, scrapbooking paper and then I did another one like that but using a different paper and doing doodles around it. And this is my cutting die and one of my favorite uh, scrapbooking papers that I have. I love this cutting die. This, I had gone to a garage sale and I got some new stamp, well new to me stamps. And this was from a magazine, inspiring, amazing, beautiful. And then this, so the, these two are there to showcase the, the part that actually kind of worked, uh, but it really didn't work. It, it, it's ugly. It, it didn't do what I wanted it to. Uh, but So there's a, a drawing and the hair. It's inspired by something Leilani Joy was doing. It was inspired by something and it didn't it didn't work out. <laughs> that's that's the short version of the complication. At that garage sale I had also picked up a stamp. It looks like this one. I ended up giving this stamp to Lari. Yeah, before I gave it to her I made this spread and I I used this as inspiration and used this sort of thing, the empty tape roll to stamp and, and make taller versions of this. This and so, like now that I have this, I I can, you know, I can do this sort of thing again, and you know, I don't I don't need the stamp anymore. Is my point? Because I can draw my own because I have the inspiration here, and the bird on the stamp it didn't have it didn't have wings it didn't have a wing so I I added the wings because they just seemed to need them can you even see not sure there you go Halloween came around and I was too late to do stuff, to do everything I intended to do with all this, but then so I, I never finished it, I never colored these in for example, etc. So this this is just kind of journaling about all the stuff that I intended to, to do about Halloween but never got around to. That's been happening a lot my starting stuff and not being able to finish it in time and then losing interest because the holiday or the whatever it is the occasion is over and stuff <laughs> as is evident by the easter egg series that i'm still working on as we speak anyway <laughs> halloween came around and, and thought that an alien looked an awful lot like a candy corn shape and so I, f I hired this alien to to dress up as a candy corn and he obliged and so there you go he's yeah he's 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 friendly he's not gonna hurt us and then I had the idea that it also looks like an like an egg so this was my design idea for Easter but I never came back and, and did it, so I just... Yeah, and... I wondered what a, a skeleton... What a... What a... An alien skull might look like, and so I was trying to do that. Johnny Birchtold did a... What, what are... Because it was American Thanksgiving when he did the video, he he was doing like a, a gratitude list but what he did is that he wrote things he was grateful for like cheese and you know things that he really loves in a little bucket and then he 
pulled out six of them to tell us about and so I did a video response and, and did something similar and those were the six I pulled out. Skype, My House, Corey Hart and his music, IU, that's my computer, uh, balloons and cameras and then I the rest of the ones that I had in my my little container I I just collaged on over here and journaled about that and stuff. I I kind of like the idea of this but it came out kind of ugly so I don't know. And this I actually kind of like this side, but this side came out kind of ugly. It, I used my new stencil and some modeling paste. She's uh, painted and collaged on there and stuff. That's napkin and that is scrapbooking paper and this is uh, book text. I don't remember what, what I was going to do. I'm sure if I read this I it would tell me, but anyway. Whatever it was I was going to do didn't work out, but I still liked the pieces that I cut to, for it, so I did this with the pieces. Then it was Christmas time and the caravan, us Cory Hart fans, caravans. We, we did a collaborative video and I did this for my my little segment of the video and so there you go this is Rudolph well, I guess you can read probably <laughs> and uh, around the same time I was I did other things. Um, yeah, at the beginning of the video when I was in the envelope and I pulled out those drawings of of uh, reindeer. This was for, for that. And this too, uh, I was gonna do something else with it but I, I never ended up doing whatever so it ended up here and that's just journaling under there telling all about what I'm trying to remember here but <laughs> anyway and then I did this this is not Rudolph this is Dancer I believe anyway that's one of the reindeer and then this this one on the other side and he has decorations on his antlers this was this was inspired by something I saw probably on Pinterest or something and then the new year was approaching and I did some I did some journaling and I could not no matter what I did I just could not make this flap look pretty <laughs> and it, and the for some reason, like I, I kept trying to stamp uh, snowflakes and stuff like that and I just couldn't do it. And then just the other day, I bought new stamps at Scrap Fest, uh, new punches I mean, and one of them is this pretty snowflake and so I put those on there. It made it a little bit better, but it's still not. I, I still think it's ugly. Uh, just Happy New Year there. I was going to do something that looked like uh, fireworks or something like that, but I gave up. This also was kind of a fail. I wanted to do something kind of pretty, but I forgot to, to not color in that part. Um, and anyway, yeah, so that's... That's not really all that pretty but that was my new year thing for this year and that's just the back 
of this this cut out snowflakes and then this Tamara Laporte has been very generous and she's been she's been given given us printables that really come just when I need them like I don't know how she knows but <laughs> anyway they're just awesome and they're just really awesome and so I put a bunch of them in here um, thank you Tam I, I really this one in particular is just so beautiful and it came at a time when I really really needed to hear this message so thank you and um, so yeah this is um, when she, she when she gave gave us this she gave us this and this as well and so yeah this was oh my gosh I'm tearing up just just remembering how this made me feel and how grateful I was that she sent us this message and like I said I, I just really needed this at that time and um, so yeah this one I have a few of Tam's things like this on my wall over there over there <laughs> anyway and then I journaled about that and then um, these are things that Shannon Green said um, in one of her shout out videos and it really that that meant a lot to me too so thank you Shannon and this is another more recent one from Tam and and I really love it this came from a Cineplex magazine and the the tattoo here I, I did I drew the design well my version of it around and then I put some tape on top to to help hold this there and I'm gonna read what it says there because it's kind of neat I like it it says friends they make our lives a little different leave us a little bit changed so we leave behind proof of the time we spent together. Some will show us that we actually like country music or help us find our favorite Indian food. They drag us into their madness, make us heroes in their stories. So we let their likes become our likes and the things they share become the things we share. They challenge our point of view, push us out of what's comfortable and we trust them just enough to follow but each changes us, even if just by a little. Each shifts the tra trajectory of our life, simply by being our friend. And I guess that's an ad for Facebook or something, but anyway, I think it's really cool. And so I stuck that there. I thought it was a good ending to this journal because of all this wonderfulness from Tamara, the port, and Shannon and stuff and then I did this on the cover this this it's not exactly like his his is a lot better but it's inspired by uh, his YouTube channel is uh, fine art tips and I really loved what he did and so anyway so I I did this and I really love my ladybug I did and uh, so yeah, see you in the next journal.